I want to move somewhere. <sighs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, not bad at all. comes with a leveler perfecter thingamajiggy. Gonna get it ready to go. Work some land. Well, it's spray day. Going to spray some so we can plant some more. He's heading out and then I'm gonna head out with the water tank to refill. It's a nice, hot, sunny day. We're full. We're actually fuller than full. He told me to fill it up till it was running over though. So that it would get full as it could get. Anywho, and to remember to put the lid on, which I'm remembering. <laughs> All right, to the bottom we go. Just taking water, no Bonnie today, cause it's hot and I don't want her to have to go and sit in the heat. So, we're going along, me and Big Red. Here we go. Going as slow as I can down this bumpy road. Hoping and praying that nothing turns over back there. Don't want anything to fall over. Fall out. Made it. <laughs> I know he's out in this field, but I think he said he would have enough to get through that, so I'm just gonna wait. Wait and see when I'm needed before I pull out there and have to turn back around and come out. Oh, I thought he was coming out. He's not, he's turning around. But I can see his tank still about half full, so. Uh, yeah. I hear him slowing down. Uh, maybe he needs me. Maybe I should go see. All right, I think we're moving on. On to this big field of sand. <laughs> up in the jugs <laughs> to lay that thing down which is always fun uh, he's going to finish spraying what he has in the tank then he'll come back and we'll fill it up again we got this field and then another small field and that'll be it for today I do a video that talks about shows or mentions spraying I get uh, some comments from people with concerns about us using Roundup and so I'll just address that 
Um, we would hate to think that we had to farm without Roundup or glyphosate. We do not believe that it is uh, harmful to us. There is no scientific evidence to show that glyphosate is harmful to humans, that it is highly toxic, or that it kills people. Um, I do believe that a lot, I do believe that in a lot of ways it is, it has obviously been a hot topic for media and for some lawyers to make a lot of money based on fear and not facts. Uh, glyphosate does, on the other hand, allow for us to farm a lot more efficiently, uh, more sustainably. It allows us to no-till farm, which helps keep down erosion. There's so many benefits to it that we see, and that's why we have no problem using it. I realize that some of y'all do not share the same opinion, and I completely respect your opinion. And I guess I would just ask for you to respect, respect ours. So that's all I'm going to say on that right now. But I did want to say it. So there you go. He's opening the top. So, so when he turns on the pump, it won't suck the body of the container in. Because that's what will happen if you don't. Coming in. Coming to fill up again. Now he's switching water tanks. Hook up the hose to that one. Oh. Fill her up. What's that knot called? Oh. oh. Roundup knot. Okay, well, my assistance is no longer needed. The last tank is filled. So I'm gonna head back to the house and he's gonna do a couple more small fields and head home too. So far, so good. we go. Hey little Jingo Bingo. <laughs> did I call your name? Yes I did. Yes I did. Hey Stella. Morning, buddy. How you doing?
Good morning, ladies. <laughs> Coming right up. Hey, Twister. Hey, 18. greased now to fill her up. All right, 20 bags in. Okay, beans are loaded. I'm gonna go home and get a bite to eat. It's not quite lunchtime, but he said he was gonna get a bite to eat. And uh, then go to planting. Okay, now I'm gonna load some beans, old, old beans on top of new beans. We're gonna have a truckload of beans. <laughs> this is, this is, this is workout like number three for me today. <laughs> Because I did an actual workout this morning. And then we loaded beans. Whew. Almost here and I don't think I lost a bag. I sure hope I didn't lose a bag somewhere. Isn't that funny? I see dust. All this rain we've had and there's dust flying. <laughs> Go figure. coming in and now we get to load some more beans. getting close to being done whoops so anyway now I'm going I'm going uh, to run some errands and pick up some parts from John Deere place and then I'll be back yeah try to multitask a little bit 
Well, the errands took a little longer than I expected. He's waiting on me. He's out of beans. And I'm bumping along as fast as I can. Woo, crazy hair. Had to put on a mask. Uh, whatever. Not brake friendly. Found him. Waiting. I'm here, I'm here. I was feeling all guilty. He said he just finished. Thought he'd been waiting. Yay, perfect for a change. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Yeah, I'd say you were about out. Woohoo! Alrighty then. I'm gonna go around and not put any more, you know, I don't want to put no more. Yeah. Than you don't want to put any more than you have to. Not at what? $60 a bag? <laughs> no. Okay, I'm waiting to see if he's gonna need any more before I leave. Uh, having some hair issues. Um, and I'm having to sit inside the truck because the mosquitoes on this river bottom will tote you away. <gasps> Look, it's a baby deer. Hold on. I saw Bambi. I am not lying. You couldn't see it, could you? I saw it in my rear view. It was Bambi. I wish I could show you. This little baby spotted fawn. Oh, shucks. What I was saying, I wonder if that, I wonder if you, I, I gotta look at the video and see if that showed up. What I was saying is that the mosquitoes down here are really bad and they're big and they're mean and they take no prisoners. So I'm, I just can't sit out there. And I think that's it, kids. Uh, just kidding, it's not it, but it's really close really close I'm just sitting out here swatting mosquitoes because he's almost done and then he needs me and then he needs me when he gets done to go up there and just spread out what's left of that last bag that we just put in and he's just gonna run them all out so yeah here it is y'all it came back out oh my gosh it's so tiny. I want to go pick it up. Of course, I'm not going to. Where is your mama? I hope you have a mama. Look, it's tiny. It's tiny. <laughs> Bless. Go find your mommy. Aww. Okay, well, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Anywho, he's done, but I went in there and spread out the piece of a bag that's left, and he's gonna run the rest of them out and call it a day. And then he explained to me what was happening next, but it was a long list of things. He's gonna go home and do something with the corn planter and get it ready, and he's planting corn. This isn't replant. This is a field that we just took hay off of. He's gonna put corn in it. And then, um, we've got barley that needs to be combined soon. So we're gonna be working on Gertie tomorrow, the next couple of days, getting her ready. Then we're gonna combine, not, did I say beans? I meant barley. We're gonna combine some barley and then plant something in those fields that are up on, on the high ground. Corn, I think. So, anyway, I'll keep you posted. I'll bring you along. And I think that's going to wrap this one up. So, until next time, farm hard, live well. Farm to live. Live to farm. Hey, this is my new tea. Yeah, you need one. You don't have to be a farmer to support farmers. Yeah, in my shop right now. <laughs>